Aloha. Um, I want to share a dream uh, and talk about dreams and talk about apps and um, mostly just explain the dream and then explain like what I got from the dream because it was this morning. I just got out of the shower and I was just like a whole bunch of stuff going on with the full moon and like everything that's like active right now so um anyway uh so start off with the dream uh where i was in this park area and i was on the sidewalk side of the park and this lady was walking up the sidewalk uh somebody was standing next to me with a cat so the lady was walking up to me uh, up the sidewalk and uh, I was looking at the lady, and the lady was this older lady, and I knew she was coming from the senior center. And um, uh, as she was walking up to me, I was kind of like kneeling down to uh, like mess with this cat, and it was a black and white cat. And the cat came. Anytime there's cats in your dreams, you're like in a space that's gonna go into what I'm getting ready to talk about. It's like this in between world, because that's where cats like. I don't know if you've anyway, seen the movie The Mummy. Like, The Mummy actually hates uh, cats. Uh, they're like, yeah, like uh, guardians or protectors of the underworld and all. So, there's something with cats in that whole uh, underworld space and um, in our relationship to cats. Anyway. So I kneel down to the cat. The cat jumps into my arms. Right by this time, the lady's close to me. She's like right here. And um, the cat's like all like being real affectionate with me and being real like nice. And she's like, oh, the lady says, oh, like he's never really like that with people. Um, and uh, <laughs> she kneels down to kiss me on my cheek. And um, I didn't have a beard or anything. And I could feel her. Uh, kiss me and right when she kissed me on the side of my cheek that's when I realized I was in the dead place because that was, was the only place I can the only way I can explain it is the dead place because um, I'd done it in a, in a dream before but it was more like disgusting and everything but anyway the reason why I felt it is because uh, when she kissed me um, I didn't there was no life there like I didn't feel any life in her kiss I didn't feel cold or like breezy or anything it was just like uh lifeless and uh I knew this person was not alive and um she was just being real sweet though being a sweet lady and then at the same time this is going on it was like weird the cat's in my arms it's like moving around and um, getting like getting comfortable in my arms, and then the cat started talking human talk, like English, and was telling me about like uh, it was like a machismo cat or something like that. It was like this really like old school uh, old cat, just like uh, all masculine cat in a way, like in the 30s or something. Like men used to talk about women, like oh women women always need this and they always want this and they always have to do this and they want this and like the old understandings of women like way back then like from a, the masculine perspective it was weird but it was funny like and it was it was funny because i was looking at the the cat and the, the cat was speaking english and it was just like a whole personality in this cat and i was just like man this cat is it's funny, and then it was making my awareness in the dream even more uh, thick. So anyway, um, so that happened. The cat jumped out of my um, lap, and then the lady walked away. That's when I started to realize that I was like, "Oh, okay, this is kind of a dream." This is, and then as I was walking down the sidewalk, um, that's when I. Um, well, anytime you're in a dream and you're like moving and you're going through like space like you're walking from here to there or you're flying from here to there or you're running from here to there or driving whatever anytime you have a moment where you're traveling uh you start to become aware of time more and you could uh like you that's like a jump time like it's like a, a shifting time so like uh you transition in that space um 
So anyway, uh, I can't remember, I can't forget the dreams and explaining dreams and how I remember them. Okay. So anyway, uh, in that transition, I go from that place to another uh, residential area. There's a fence right here walking down the sidewalk. My brother is right behind me who recently passed. Um, and there's like this lady tour guide in front of us walking down this. And she's, she's just walking on the sidewalk down the street. And it's a familiar street. And um, this bobcat appears in front of us. And um, my brother behind me is like, why did we stop? Like, what's going on? I was like, there's a bobcat up there. So he's like being real impatient about like what's going on, which is weird because the animal told him one of the... Uh, um, Descriptions of the animal tone of the bobcat is patience. It's like a very patient animals. And uh, anyway, so uh, so the ancestors set up these dreams for us, like with us being and like having the remembering it and bringing it back and anchoring this experience here and anchoring this information here and sharing this information here our guides come to our dreams and they explain things and share with us and we have an agreement with them and there's this whole thing it's not us linearly like rehabbing the dream it's like us being in a space where this dream is happening and um yeah, I'll get to that in a second. I want to finish the dream. So the dream, there's this bobcat right there. And the lady, everyone's like, stop, 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 stop. Like, you see, I have to watch this majestic creature, like, being on the sidewalk. And then it was looking at this fence like it was trying to go that way. Like, it was trying to go up that hill or over there. And the lady was like, no, you have to go left. Which, for that cat going up, it was that way. Um, you have to go left. And I was looking at the lady, like, you're talking, why are you talking to the cat? And like, she was really like, no, you have to go left. You have to go left. Like, that cat to the bobcat, like, you have to go left. And the cat was just, like, still, like, which made me even more, like, why are you talking to the cat like that? And then all of a sudden, the cat just stopped. And then it just went. For that, it turned our right is left, or my right is at left. So it went across the street, underneath the fence, and up and over around. And she was like, you got to go left and over that hill. So the bobcat went left and then over that hill under the fence. And then um, we kept walking down that hill. So as we're walking down the hill, um, there's another space of time where it's just like, it becomes like a, a, a transition point to where you're like in a space for another t a bunch of times. And then you can jump in between that or wherever into another dream. So pop into another dream. And I'm inside of a theater. It's all dark and black. And there's like a light behind me. And then uh, my brother's sitting in a chair over here. And these little seats facing this way. And then there's these other seats facing this way. There's like a little thing right here. I'm just realizing now like a little uh, barrier right here. But it's for here on the other side. And there's this giant screen right in front of me. And there's this lady speaking. She's explaining to me the sounds that sounds and effects that people use in songs and music that tap into the um, kind of like the nostalgic, not necessarily specifically nostalgic, but just like the essence of how we hear things. She was explaining like, oh, yeah, people use this sound, chirp, chirp, like chirps and like different kind of like things that sound certain ways and they make us feel certain ways. So she was explaining like, yeah, we use this and this and this and this in songs. And this, this is how it all is. And the thing is that this whole giant theater was, uh, the screen was just a bunch of apps. It was like a bunch of little square, tiny square, smaller than your app screen app in comparison to the app screen. And so it was this whole like, thing and each each one was labeled with like a number that was a date but it wasn't like a it wasn't like a regular um a regular um date like we would see it it was like a number different kind of date anyway 
Um, I was a, I was seeing all these details. Each detail that you pay attention to in a dream makes you more lucid in the space. It like brings you into the space. Uh, your consciousness, your conscious awareness into the space. So she's explaining all these songs and effects and sounds. I'm like, okay. Uh, I hear each one, and each it, the 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 sounds start to change. They start to go from a chirp to a beat to a lyric to like a chunk of a song and um, so one of the songs and the chunks of the songs comes out and it says uh, and I'm like really enjoying it like it was really like cool it was like I was like wow this is really interesting to me I was like oh yeah trip to oh, yeah these are good beats too I was like oh this is good music and then but they were only like little chunks of songs and anyway so she explains all that and then um, it goes to the lyric parts. And one of the lyrics talks about like being like other people or something like that. This is what my brother got up. He was like, what? What did I just say? Oh, he was like, like being other people. They're like, yeah, do your own thing. Like all this. So he walks from behind me over to the chair in front of me. So now he's sitting over here in front of me. And I can see like, I can see like him going from here over. And then he's over there. And then I'm like. Now he's in my vision and I'm watching him out of the corner of my eye. So now he's in this, he's part of my dream. And now um, this lady starts to kind of like fade if, as, as far as my um, attention goes. So the attention is starting to shift over here and I'm, I'm paying more attention to my brother. I'm thinking more like what's going on over there? Like, and then I started to realize more and more that I'm in a dream. And I realized again that um, that he had passed. And I was like, wow. And then I was like, wait, in this dream. So to hold it in this dream, I'm just like maintaining my space in the dream. And then all of a sudden, this understanding of he's passing in the dream in four days. I was like, whoa. Like, he, does he know? And as soon as I instantaneously, I was thinking like he he knows he'll be passing in four days. And I was like, in that moment, I was thinking, like, I got to tell him something. There's something I have to tell him. I forgot. I was like, I got to. Oh, yeah. So um, I told him. I was like, I uh, I got to talk to you for a second. I got to. Could you come over here? And um, went to go sit down on the other chair back where he was in that area. And uh, he's walking. He got up over there. He's walking behind me to go sit down. And, um, uh, he says, uh, as he's coming across me, uh, he says something. And then by this time, I'm like, um, I'm like emotionally overwhelmed with, uh, the awareness in the dream, knowing that, uh, like all these experiences are there. And mean, uh, meanwhile, I'm also waking up too. So I'm like, I can kind of hear like the that those cars going by on the freeway out there that sounds like so that's like in this space or the air coming through the window whatever it is it's like a combination of both um so i'm in that space and then i uh um i'm overwhelmed with like emotion and and just like a nightmare as you wake up from like fear like Fear will get you knocked out of that space. Laughter can wake you up out of a dream. Um, any kind of like linear emotion or whatever, it'll like jar you out of that space. And um, life, uh, um, in the experience of like life, dreams, and death, which is just just like the life is you walking forward and death is you walking back like how we experienced going through time life is just you thinking that you're or feeling that you're walking forward through time but you're also simultaneously your death experience walking backwards so and the dreams are in between for you to get information on what this like the past present and future understanding like all this and how this whole story fits together um so this is why another reason why our dreams are so like 
manipulated to be forgotten about and uh, um, uh, converted into understanding our reality and who we are as just the physical reality, the physical experience individual. Um, so, yeah, so the dreams, the doorway, the doorway, so the life doorway, and then the death experience doorway, and then, um, so any, another way to explain the, the whole walking forward is life, and then walking backward, you still walking backward is death, is how you remember your dreams, and then, um, like, because when you wake up in the morning, you remember like the last part of the dream and in order to remember the rest of the dream you're like remembering um in chunks like you have to remember um so you remember the last part of the dream you're like oh what happened right before that and what happened right before that and then it opens up spaces each time oh yeah that happened oh yeah this happened oh yeah that happened so you're walking backwards to remember that dream and then once you remember enough of that dream, then you can also shift into what led up to that dream. And then you remember like the last part of that dream and the last part of that dream. So remembering and connecting to our dream not only helps us uh, understand uh, the information that comes from our ancestors and our guides and ourselves, but also like this whole experience that we're, that we're in right now. And, um, how I interpreted the whole um, app space in there is just like the whole, um, it's just like the artificial, like the, the so the app takes away, the, the computer, the, the iPhone like takes away your, it's like your new body. And then the app's just like, if you're walking forward, you're pushing the button on the app. The app is also pushing your buttons too. So like all those apps in there, start to become who you are once you invest your energy in there and your time and your memory into it. So just like you remember. You remember things and you rely on your brain and to and your muscle, you flex that muscle to like be your experience. Well, that's energy and then when you give that power away to something like a Google mentality and you stop using your muscle, you're giving energy away to an artificial mind, an artificial um, hive, and uh, it exists in the ethers, and that whole movie theater I was seeing in there is just like the distraction reality that uh, surrounds us, and um, there's a realness there. So I'm like piecing together like the, the, the meaning of the dream and like for me and then other people will see other things and feel it with you can only see with your own eyes and that whole thing but how I'm seeing this whole thing in relation to what I talk about what I'm experiencing like this is to share and to also interpret and uh, walk with uh, this whole like yeah the whole movie theater in there is a big giant app screen and uh, they're little chunks of time that Every time you invest your energy into one of those apps, that or um, that space, then you're simultaneously uh, giving away a little piece of you, and those little pieces are energetic, um, like ether nuggets, <laughs> like spiritual, like ether nuggets of uh, importance that uh, kind of get, um, they don't get taken because we give them away with our, like we constantly walk into this space. Like nobody's making your feet walk there. Like we're, as we're walking forward and walking backwards from life and from death into this moment, then it's a whole like experience and whatever is in that moment experiences that becomes more enveloping of how we perceive our reality then that's nobody else doing something it's us uh, agreeing for this experience and uh, doing this whole thing so we're put, piecing it together and if we forget about our dreams and don't connect with our dreams then we forget like the the other places of the, the past and the 
future and the allness that's out there. So anyway, I just really wanted to um, not forget about the whole uh, how to remember the dream, the app, the like the Appville um, place that's being pieced together. Share the dream that I had. Explain that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, until next time, peace, love, harmony.